Hey guys, it's Ryan, the Tokyo Fun Hunter, and I just wanted to tell a little bit about myself. Um, this is the first day I've done kind of video blogging. I've done a, a few little clips here today, asking, you know, answering some questions about Tokyo lifestyle, how to really, really live life to the fullest here in Tokyo, and, and, and honestly, you can use these techniques anywhere in the world. And so I kind of wanted to tell a little bit about myself and, uh, you know, kind of like where I am in life and why some of these techniques, hey, maybe you kind of want this type of lifestyle. So basically, I'm 26 years old. Uh, I'm from uh, Southern California, uh, you know, Orange County, actually. <laughs> Orange County, California. I went to school at University of California, Santa Barbara, and I double majored in sociology and Japanese. Um, and I did, you know, an amazing, I had an amazing time there. I lived the party lifestyle. I, I worked as a bartender, a river rafting instructor, a surf instructor. You know, I worked at an insurance company as an intern for a little, a few months. And I studied abroad here in Japan during that time. Um, so, so before, actually, maybe before that, I should say how I first got to Japan. And the reality is, um, you know, I've always was influenced. You know, I was one of the kids in high school that definitely liked anime and, and uh, manga and was into, you know, Naruto and Bleach and all that stuff and, and samurai and ninjas. And it actually wasn't until um, I started reading, uh, it, was a, it was an article in Outside Magazine that basically said how beautiful, you know, the Japanese outdoors were. And it made me really, really, you know, I actually wrote to the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the writer of that essay and he wrote back to me giving me all these tips and I, I went to Japan and did this amazing backpacking journey for about three months. Um, and the reason I did that was because I, I first actually wanted to do study abroad and uh, they didn't let me in. And so I was kind of like, oh, screw it, I'm just gonna go on my own. And I did this three month backpacking tour all throughout Japan. It was, it was fun, fantastic, amazing. You know, I met so many people that I'm still friends with to this day, had amazing you know, adventures. Uh, I mean, I, that's a story for another time. There's some pretty crazy stories I can really tell you about. Um, but the last day, the last day I was in Japan, this is one of those kind of destiny type of stories. Uh, the last day I was in Japan, I was on a bus and I was on my way to, uh, I forget where, <laughs> it was like a three hour bus ride and it's full of Japanese people. There's one other foreigner in the front row and you know, we kind of like, I, I kind of, so we kind of made eye contact and we were kind of like, you know, like, hey, you know, we, we wanted to start talking to each other. And we ended up sitting next to each other and, and I was asking, we were asking the basic questions, what brings you to Japan, what are you doing here, how are you doing, you know, how are you liking the adventure? And he was very interested in, in what I was doing and, and at this time I was 20 years old by the way, 20 years old, traveling by myself all throughout Japan, you know, I was, I was really adventurizing, I was sleeping under bridges, I was sleeping in, in totally strangers apartments, you know, sometimes meeting, meeting amazing people. Um, and he was very interested in what my thoughts and, and I was like telling him, man, well, I'm having such a great time here. And, and he's like, you know, what, why, why now? I was telling him the whole thing, like, well, I, did, I tried to do study abroad. They didn't let me go in because of my major. I was, I was a bio major at the time, a biology major. And uh, he was really like, yeah, that's really weird. It's really interesting. And yeah, I was like, yeah. And I was just like, screw it, I'll do it on my own. And um, he basically said, uh, you know what? When you you know what university did you come from? And I came from UCSB, uh, and he and he even like looked at me like, like wow, that's that's really crazy. What a coincidence! And I was like, you know, uh, why? He's like, because I am the head of the study abroad program for University of California Santa Barbara. It was one of those like, oh my gosh, wow, this this is amazing. This is exactly like, um, th wow, who would have thought? What are the chances of that happening? And he was very like. You know, like, hey man, let's stay in touch and let me see what I can do. And, you know, to be honest, at the time, I thought he was just being polite. You know, you know how you meet people sometimes at bars, you exchange business cards, but nothing really ever comes of it. But I gave him my contact information and, uh, you know, I, I went back to the States and for about two months, you know, I, I had my 21st birthday, I had an amazing time, um, and, I, and I was living life in California. And um, then, you know, he called me back up two months later saying like, Ryan, oh my gosh, dude, you know, and I had to be like, who's this? <laughs> and he's like, you know, there's a spot open at our language and culture program in Yamanashiken, Japan. Um, usually you need about five years of Japanese to do it, but I know that you're really committed in, on coming to Japan again. Are you interested? I can get you in. And, you know, I was like, I'm, I'm in, I'm all in, let's do it. And, um, you know, a week later I was back in Japan living with a host family. Um, 
in Yamanashiken now, Yamanashiken is basically right at the edge of Mount Fuji. So I was at the edge of Mount Fuji living the outdoor lifestyle. And a little bonus point, my host dad was a Mount Fuji guide. That was unbelievable. And you know, during that time I had a beautiful Japanese girlfriend. Um, you know, I was on the, the rugby team of, of my uh, you know, study abroad school. It was us. It's called Sudu Bunka Daigaku. And shout out to all you guys if you're listening to this. This, you know, you guys are awesome. <laughs> um, uh, so I did that for about you know eight months, and I and the beautiful thing was it was and only an hour away from Tokyo, so I could go to Tokyo on the weekends, have a great time doing that, live the social lifestyle. Um, the third time coming back, uh, and then I went back to UCSB for two years, got you know graduated, did one year um, uh, kind of working in Santa Barbara. Uh, I, that's another story. I made some incredible money uh, doing promotions and um, marketing, which was really really fun. Um, and, and like really, really having a great time. And then I came back and I got offered a position to basically work as an outdoor instructor here in Japan. So right now I'm currently, you know, I'm working as now a manager for that company uh, where we take uh, kids um, and adults from all over Japan and we take them on the outdoor tour. So it's like a week long tour. You know, I'm the manager of what's called Extreme Camp. And basically what it is is like each day is a different activity. You do, you do rock climbing, you do river rafting, you do you know, overnight camping, you do Dutch oven cooking. It's all the outdoor lifestyles. Um, and uh, it's, it's a great thing. And I've been doing a ton of other jobs on the sides to, to, to kind of like just get amazing experiences all throughout. Um, so where am I currently at? Well, let me tell you kind of the deal. So basically in the last two years I've been living at this place. This is my rooftop by the way. Uh, you can see beautiful Shinjuku, <laughs> Shinjuku, right over here. Um, you know, if you look on the other side, you can see Mount Fuji on a clear day. It's it's a little overcast, so uh, I'll have to show you guys another time. But you can see Mount Fuji perfectly. Live in a share house system with four roommates, and we. I'm a co-founder of one of a uh, very, you know, influential international event company here in Japan. You know, one of our biggest parties we had about 500 people show up. Very very fun. Um, so I was, uh, you know, we've been skipping around positions. I'm, I'm one of the co-founders of that, and I'm still working on that with my friends for the last two years. Uh, I also do marketing uh, with a lot of different companies, uh, just because, you know, a lot of connections. I'm also part of the acting community here in Japan. You know, I've been, been trained as an actor back in California. I did, I did tons of musical theater productions, and I've been doing, uh, you know, basically acting. And my, I think my biggest role was I was on the show uh, Gang King, Cash King, uh, where I played the Cash King, and it was like... It was sort of an anime kind of character type of thing. It was really, really fun, really rewarding. But also, I've been in a couple different movies um, just on the side. It's nothing, nothing major, not yet. Um, but I've met some great people doing that. And uh, my, my favorite job has been basically I've been a whitewater river rafting instructor on the Tamagawa River here in, in that runs basically from north, uh, basically western Tokyo all the way to central Tokyo. If you go to the western side, you can do river rafting there. And that's been an amazing uh, time in my life. Uh, I'm so glad. You know, I've done a few uh, a Kaiwa things, uh, English conversations, English teaching, and business lessons on the sidelines here and there as well to, to supplement. Um, but those have been the major things. Another big one is uh, I've been a surfing instructor down in southern Japan, in Tokyo. And I know this seems like, man, I'll, you know, I've done 20 different industries. Uh, I'm just saying it is doable uh, if you keep your mind open. Uh, you know, I've also worked for. for Working at a bakery here in Shinjuku, that was really, that was definitely a, a, an interesting time <laughs> in my life. Um, but nowadays, yeah, I'm 26, I'm um, in a, an amazing relationship. Um, I speak Japanese fairly well. Um, there's always room for improvement, don't, don't get me wrong. You know, I've done English teaching, I've done acting, I've done uh, outdoor sports. And uh, the whole point I've started to do this is because I've had a lot of friends back in the US basically beg me to start keeping a blog, start keeping video blogs, because um, I've kind of helped a lot of people adjust to lifestyles here in Tokyo, and they thought that, you know, I should do it. And I was like, I was kind of sitting on it for a long time, and I was like, ah, oh, what the hell, let's let's see what what's out there, what can we do about this? Um, I definitely think I have a lot of things I can, I can add some value to you guys' lives, and in return, add value to my own life, you know, spreading kind of the, like, hopefully some useful information, some good tips for you guys um, that you can use worldwide, whether it comes to, to business or lifestyle or fitness, or if you're planning on coming to Japan, some good ways on securing a visa or a job or, or getting set up with your, you know, basically your social life 
or, or, or getting a rooming or transportation situation. I hope that some of these tips can help you in, in some field or, or part of your lifestyle. You know, that's kind of like the mission, the reason I'm doing this. Um, and I hope it really does. So yeah, life is really, really good. It's a very fun time of my life right now. Uh, the recent, my second year in Japan is kind of coming to an end, basically. The river rafting position, uh, you know, I just uh, kind of got done. The season ended last week. It's getting more into the winter season now. And uh, I kind of was looking for different opportunities around, and I, I signed up right now. I'm working as an a, um, intro to acting instructor, uh, you know, which is really, really fun. You know, our, our clients are from kids to adults, and now I'm teaching acting. Um, just nothing major, not like Hollywood stars, but like, you know, beginning stuff, which is a really, really fun fun way to, 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 to get paid and I'm doing a lot of different things on the sides um, you know I'll, I'll post some links hopefully this guy things will will help you out to earn some more income um, as well as like just to like you know check out my other blogs I, I talk about a few tips that you know to to live in Japan and be and have a great time in Japan and the whole idea guys is to enjoy the journey and to get as much experience every day and to live life to the fullest that's the overall approach um, so I hope, you know, that's a little bit about myself. Uh, I hope, um, check out some of my other, you know, v blogs and blogs, written blogs to, to kind of better your lifestyle, take something away. And if you're thinking about coming to Japan, please hit me up. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions or, or give some tips on getting settled and getting a job and really taking advantage of living abroad. And, and by the way, this is not just Japan. You know, I've, I've lived in Taiwan. I've, I've traveled through Singapore, Korea, uh, China, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand. I've been, yeah, I've been, I could really get into some detail on some ways for you to really enjoy the lifestyle. All right. So yeah, have fun guys. Let me know, drop me a line and hope and, you know, live life to the fullest. Cheers.